Anything that we do, like literally animals would always get more rights <laughs> than us. And they deserve rights, of course, but you know, so do we. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be very honest. Like as much as we deal with, you know, individually, collectively, every day, like you were just like explaining earlier, it just reminds me like you know, you wake up every day just wondering, or at least I do, I have these moments where I'm just like, this is, this is real. This is our life. This is our reality. Yeah. And we have to function in that reality constantly. Right. And I've spoken to so many black women recently, um, like over a period of time that have talked about their mental health, seeking therapy, you know, trying to heal, trying to grow, which I think is amazing. Mm. Um, but a lot of them have said very similar things in terms of like which naturally they would say similar things but a lot of them have said similar things as far as like what they've been diagnosed with like this high functioning depression right just this and, and there's like lists of things that I've heard several women say that they've been like diagnosed with since going to seek therapy and I'm like you do that and you have to do it and you just keep doing it and you keep going and you keep going you know, and we get to this point now where it's like, you know, we, we joke, you know, they say laugh to keep from smiling. We do such an amazing job at like lifting each other up and like finding ways to like, you know, have a sense of humor with some of the things. And it's, it's a coping mechanism really when you think about yeah. it, right? Because it's yeah. so triggering what we're going through right now. Yeah. It's extremely triggering. I had a conversation with a group of girls, like since everything that's happened with uh, Roe versus Wade. And right. a lot of the girls, you know, you know, we were sitting there talking about some of the girls who had appointments scheduled and the appointments were canceled. And I'm like, like, no care of your circumstance at all so okay now you're just going to have a baby like just because I've said see it's such an insane bro mm, you know mm. what yeah it is it's very and, I, and again it comes back to like I was thinking about this earlier before when we said we were going to have an episode on this and I just thought to myself like I know that people think I'm mad <laughs> and, you know, I don't know if you guys have seen, we get all kinds of comments on our thoughts and opinions. It's crazy kind of things. People take their time to really like, you know, be so against the basic things that we're asking for. Um, but I just thought to myself, this is why we talk about the things that we talk about. And whenever we say it, they think that we're crazy or we're exaggerated. And I'm like, it's not, you don't even understand the half of the level of oppression that we're dealing with. Can you imagine that they can sit there and decide this for us and we have no choice but to take it? That's just the reality. This is not a normal way of living. We're not free. This is actually not freedom. Mm -mm. And if I, you know, but when we say it, it sounds like, oh, you're being extreme, but it's not extreme. You have no autonomy over your body. Name one rule. I know you see this all over the internet right now, but Name one law that governs a man's body. Like they're literally trying to- Have you seen to... the have you seen the responses to questions like that? Have you seen what men have been saying to things like that? I saw the seat one said a seatbelt. I saw. I think <laughs> the thing is, yeah, they're they're just so um The whole thing is a joke to them. They're just gaslighters as well. They gaslight us a lot of the times. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's why, for example, they'll say, this is a Power of Women podcast. Why are you listening to it then? If you're saying like, you know, some of the comments and they say, well, I thought this was a Power of Women podcast, not a shit. Term. If you thought this was a Power of Women podcast, why did you click on it? Because clearly you're not someone who cares about the power of women, given your views. You're looking for a different kind of, you know, 
podcast, the top do you know the, the typical relationship podcast that tell women do better. Here's your all in all. Why did you click on this particular one? Because you, you're a troll, mm. and you don't let us have safe spaces. Mm-mm. Do you know what I mean? Like straight hatred, like just hatred, like just don't really don't believe that we should have any like say or rights at all and that we should be like really content with it you Mm. know Mm. it's almost like they don't see us well it's not almost like they don't see us as the equal but again like I said even if you see something is not your equal it does not mean that you treat them badly or that you're supposed to have autonomy over their lives even if you believe that this person is less than you like what gives you that right to want to to make decisions for them and their bodies like and just and it's not even, even the Roe v. Wade had me thinking about other countries worldwide, you know? And it was like, there's 21 countries currently that also have illegal abortion and like completely, you can't have it at all. And then there's countries like Nigeria where it's illegal unless it's to save a woman's life. And again, when you say unless it's to save a woman's life, what does that mean? Do you know what I mean? Oh, what does that mean like this is our realities there's countries where women can't drive still they can't work they can't get like it's just insane that's the reality can't get an education can't get an education and i was thinking about even china that has gender gender-based abortion again they allow it but it's gender-based if it's a girl then you can have it yeah mm. but not a boy because the boys are treasured you know and then they also wow. yeah yeah and then uh I also remember China how um the binding of the feet mm, of the women that. the girl child like you know how sickening that is yeah I remember that and that was a normality to you know what I'm saying like for like centuries just because she was not allowed to look you decided and it wasn't a woman it was the men of course that the way she was in order to not trigger your insecurities she had to be small and tiny and dainty and go against like everything about them is to shrink us. We have to shrink ourselves. Heaven forbid we shine or have any kind of autonomy. Mm. You want to talk about abortion. You don't care about the children. You just want to oppress women because how many women, um, how many children are being abused daily that you give a damn about? Right. How many and, of you and, abuse and your and own kids? About, right. right. You, what do you use them for? Like, we know everything that you guys do. Hollywood has a clear pedophile ring. Nobody touches that. You guys, yeah, but, like, it's facilitated yes. even. The church, everything, you don't care about children. You just want to oppress women. You want to rape women as you want and force us to have your kids, you animals. And it's the same way in which they, the same mm-hmm. linkage with marriage is the same thing. You just obsession with mm. us having your kids. Mm. Like, we must have your kids, like, irrespective of what we want. How dare you? And then you can just run away as soon as you want to run away. Like, you can just leave. You, like, you're going to put me in this situation because it is you that put me in this situation. If anybody can control pregnancy, yeah, honestly, it is actually you. Right. Because it, if you don't ejaculate, I cannot get pregnant. Right. So you have put me in this predicament because what did you think was going to happen? And then now you're mm. like, I don't want to look after the baby and I'm going to go, but you're going to have that child. Right. And for the fact that there's like no kind of like repercussions for the men at all. Nothing. It just further confirms it because it's like, if you really, really, really wanted to like lock down on anything, you would prosecute both people. That would make everybody do whatever it is, you know, obviously. But I just think it's real deep. Um, And it's like that privilege, the privilege that men have to be able to constantly abuse women, to be able to have these conversations with us like they could ever in their mind understand the things that we go through and feel like they can fix their mouths to give an opinion about what should or should not happen with our bodies, with our lives in any way is crazy. It's crazy. It's just like, it's not, they're not, and then it seems like they're not going to stop as well. It's going back into the regression stage as well. Do you know what I mean? Because 
why did they even bring up Roe versus Wade to want to overturn it? Of all the things that we've got going on at the moment, why was that even a topic of discussion right now? Why, you know, what, what it's was... always like layers. It's exactly. always layers to exactly. it. I know, we, there is an, I know there's an election coming up. So mm-hmm. I know everybody's going to be saying what they're for and what they're not for and pushing for, you know, how they do. Right, right, right. But then even deeper than that, I'm sure that there's, there's always something more to why, especially when you're dealing with exactly. the feminine, when you're dealing with women. Exactly. You know, so it's crazy because they can put us in these positions only to like have to further deal with whatever it is that we're being set up for. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, I can just imagine so many more women obviously saying, well, fuck that. You know, more women are going to be, obviously women are going to lobby for themselves, but you have more women that's going to be like more like checking these niggas. Like, no, boy, bye. Yeah, yeah. I wish you would. Right. Please. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I feel like the demons in them is just going to be stirred up from that kind of energy. Of course, like, you know how they get yeah, when they feel yeah. so entitled to you, yeah. anyway. So, yeah. like, yeah, the time women are just like, uh uh-uh, uh, move. You and see there's nothing going that... on. No, yeah. I'm trying to protect myself. These fools will, I feel like they are just gonna act a fool because like nothing's they're... gonna happen to them. The, the law protects them anyway. It All you're doing them. is giving them a pass. Oh, bro. Do you know what I mean? So, like, it's all all it does is give them a pass. And they know that there's actually no repercussions. You're more bothered about us and our bodies than all of the rapists that you have because you obviously love, (laughs) they support each other. It's a ring of them. They just support violence in general towards women and children. That's just what it is. Any kind of violence and control, you know, is, 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 is fine. And I think at this point we have to admit it is what it is because I'll hear men talking and they'll say, oh, you know, it's crazy, right? What's happening? Is it? I mean, if you think about how we are normally treated and what's been going on, is it really crazy? Like, this is like you're saying it. Oh my God. Are you surprised? Yeah, no, no, are you surprised? Not, yeah. yeah. Like, are you just su- don't act obtuse because this is what we lobby for. And you tell us, oh no, these like, women are equal now. Oh wow. Oh my God. Did they reverse Roe versus way? Did they treat women badly? No, that's what the hell we're saying. This is what we talk about. Mm. And then you talk about, oh, you feminists. This is what we're speaking about. Things like this. Like, you know, you you know, the flip side of that coin is like how many people I see so excited about it. Like, yeah. And I'm like, even the reasons that I've heard why some of these people are excited, I'm like, you still aren't entitled to anybody else's body, period. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, like why do you feel the need to because that's the thing that part People, doesn't matter the control like why do you always want to control what someone else does and then you always use your views and your religion or whatever it is to try and impose that view on somebody else that's the problem you are not allowed to do that for example i saw um an lgbtq rally And I saw this and I just was just thinking to myself, there were some people there obviously saying it's a sin. And and I just thought you left your house to go to a rally where people were celebrating themselves and that you didn't agree with to go and troll and antagonize them. What gives you that fucking right? Even if you don't like it. Right. Shut up and and let them express themselves how they want to. You have no right to say, I don't like this. So I'm going to go away from where I am, come into your space and tell you to stop doing what you enjoy or what you want to do. Like, you don't believe in it. Cool, you don't have to believe in it. Mm -mm. But you can't tell me that I can't do that. It's my body. I can do what I want with my body. Like, are you kidding me for such a big decision as well? And then you say, well, actually, in this circumstance, you don't get to decide that. I mean, and the fact that, again, back to men, nothing happens to them. Like, you are the, you, why did you come? You shouldn't Mm. have done then, because you know full well, you control this. I don't get to control this. I actually can't. Well, I can, obviously, but physically, you did that. Right. And then now, oh, it's just me yeah yeah and a lot of the time they don't even want it they just want to run away so they've left you alone you've how often do you get them saying actually yeah i want this i want 
to do this properly anyway. They don't. Mm -mm. But you felt like not controlling yourself. I can't. You know, like I said, it's um, it's super triggering um, for everybody, for most, you know, <laughs> most most women that that I've spoken to um, have, you know, their own unique opinions and views. Um, but the one thing that I appreciate is because I understand like being around certain groups of people or certain mindsets, like, I don't know what, what triggers people to think that they have that level of entitlement. And I mean, like, yeah. even, even the women that are, that are happy for it, you know, that yeah. I'm just like, sis, you don't understand, obviously what's going on. Like, yeah, you just completely missed it. Like, missed it. Yeah. Completely, completely missed, missed it. it. It's like, not it's another indoctrination, you know, like there's always going to be people on the other side of the movie, like every time who are so oh. for it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, bro. Yeah. yeah, but but it's like I'm it. I'm grateful to have had women and people around me in situations that have brought me to where I am. You know what I mean with my level of understanding because it just further confirms how much we have to protect ourselves. Like, yeah, we really have to protect ourselves like yeah. in every way. You no, know? and and it's not even just out there. Like the attack on a woman is so deep, and it's and it's. <laughs> thread into every fiber of our society right you know what I mean like right. um it's it's one of the reasons it's triggering for me is uh, I've been through it first of all I've I've experienced it um I've I've had an abortion um it's I have my own feelings about it I have right. my own experience with it I mean, you know, you you have your experiences and you come up with your um you make it make sense to you. You process right. it however you know works for you. Right. And for me at that time, it was something that I definitely felt was absolutely necessary. Right. And um I also struggled and battled with it years later, you know what I mean, in different ways. And to be honest, uh, because I know where I was at that place in, in everything going on around me, I am, I would never say that I made a mistake. You know what I mean? Because at that right. time in my life, I felt like that was necessary. However, since then, I've even grown to have different feelings about it personally. You know right. what I mean? Um, because of the way I processed my situation. But despite how I've come out of it and, and my understanding of it, despite my personal feelings about it, it still does not matter. My opinion should never, ever affect anyone else. Everybody right. has to live their life and make these decisions for themselves. And the right. fact that there's like so many, I see people joking left and right, like, I'm just like, wow, you guys, like, I don't think y'all understand what's going on. People are like, yeah, we understand what's going on. I'm like, I don't think you understand what's going on. No, not quite. They yeah. don't. Yeah. They don't understand. And to be honest, I still don't think they said, you know, they didn't ban abortions. They're not stupid. They just banned legal abortions. So there's going to be so many more, like, side hustles and quacks. And I know people who... um a few people that I knew actually would have abortions in places in like in Nigeria, for example, where it's illegal unless it's to save your life. So unless it's like mm. an ectopic pregnancy or something. Right. And they've been to like quacks, honestly, and have been in so much pain that they nearly died. Do you know what I mean? Because they had, that was the only one option that they had. Mm. So this is literally what they're doing. They're just going to push like mm. so mm. many mm. women into that. And they know what they're doing. They're fully aware that this is what's going to happen. Oh, it's exhausting, man. It's really, it's really exhausting, man, as women. But I think that we really should not be taking this line down. Hmm. I don't think and we're not. I see that people have been doing like protests and stuff, but honestly, I think it. 
no, it has to be a lot deeper. Yeah, it, it has, has to, be to though, because when you think about them, for example, nobody ever got anything via peaceful protest, especially not them, because they don't. It doesn't work. That's not how you get what you need. Like we have been, women have been fighting for rights, yeah, since forever. Same with black people. <laughs> well, actually, no, not since forever. You know, since the takeover, but like from saying that we want to vote to we want to work to we want to have the same pay as you or stop killing us or like you know like constantly there's every generation every era there's something that we're asking for just because we have right. zero autonomy over ourselves right. do you know what I mean and then something that they have done 50 years ago they've now reversed it to say well well like again I don't understand why this was even a topic Obviously, you said it's the election time, so it makes more sense. But mm. why was it... Okay, let's attack the women first to show that we're united. Yeah. Because, you know, there's a movement of the divine feminine. She's very clearly awakening. Yeah. Like, in a different way. It's quite yeah. clear. You see women are owning themselves. They're not yeah. giving a damn about men. That, so, that whole men validation that mm. the past couple of decades have had, we are not having it anymore. It's quite clear that it's shifting. So I think that they're yeah. worried. Yeah. And they're like, okay, we need to really figure out a way to keep these women under check, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. um, constantly. Mm. But you can't keep us under check. Mm-mm. We are the wild know. woman for a reason. Like, we, we are the wild know. woman for a reason. Mm. You know, not, we cannot be kept under check. It's just left for us to wake up because if we truly woke up, oh my God, you know, they say how powerful we, we are without telling us how powerful we are. They even mm-hmm. say things like, only a praying woman can bring a man closer to God. Right. You know, why is that? Because she's find powerful. A wife, find a good thing. Think, she's a women bossy ass. <laughs> all of these, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> like all of these underlying things that say who we, our actual ability, our actual mm-hmm. level. You know what I mean? Like, because God knows if we were running the world, it wouldn't be in the state that it's in now. Right. We just need to wake up to our greatness, honestly, and stop trying to, like, live under the shadows of those who are flipping clearly insane. Right. Like, clearly are not reasoning properly. And so why is this bringing you so much joy? Again, the control of another woman's body is to tell a woman what she can and cannot do. Because, you know, society likes to tell us that we're wrong all the time. Right. It just makes them feel, ugh. you know, it's those people that just like to find people to feel you're wrong and I'm right and I'm the one who's telling you what's right. Mm-hmm. Now that means I'm better than you. No, it doesn't. You flipping weirdo. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. all those uh, classic women haters are loving this right now. Oh my god! So like, see, that's why the men's supposed to be the lead. See, see what's happening as a result of y'all decisions. See, they loving this with a lack of just like basic intelligence. B- basic intelligence, you know, basic. mental main, mental stability. Mm. <laughs> like that what was the mm. video earlier that said that like you know I don't care I can buy all the things for myself that you can buy for me like, but what how is your spiritual health how's your mental stability are you well no you're not you're just hot no. <laughs> you're just hot to do that nothing else like no it's wild no not at all it's crazy there is a lot of misogyny around you know and I think the problem for most women is comprehending it the the why behind it so that's why they find it hard to even accept sometimes that we say these things because you do you'd be like but why though why would they feel that way about us or why do they I don't know but it's clear that they do (laughs) no do you know what I mean that's the bottom Mm -hmm. line though because Mm -hmm. I really don't I have no idea like I wish I did know I have all these kind of theories but the bottom line is it's happening irrespective of why it's happening this is what's happening to us right now and it's, it's so scary, honestly, because you don't even know which one is, who thinks like that, which one of them thinks insane. And do you know what I mean? Like yeah. even I heard another one saying, um, I hear them say it a lot. And I'm like, you guys are so scary. And they're like, oh, you know, because now, you know, women, like you have to be careful. Mm-hmm. <sighs> mm-hmm. Every time they say that and they say it like, and mm-hmm. I'm just looking at them like, no, because before you can just do how, do anyhow, touch her, talk to her anyhow, touch her. You're like, now you're like, oh my God, you're so used to just, treating women anyhow in, in and you say no how would you wouldn't treat your friends so don't tell me that it's like especially the ones that like to be friendly friendly overly friendly mm-hmm. you don't go and befriend all the men do you or you don't no. try to be touching men's waist or, or all of this no. you don't have those problems with men why is it only mm-hmm. women you have those problems with hmm? mm-hmm. it's crazy it's wild 
Like I said, it's super triggering. Um, it is, man. It's a triggering time. Yeah, it, it really is. is man. It is. I had a couple girls uh, message me talking about girl, sis, keep you strapped. Keep yourself strapped. Mm. Like, keep something on you at all times. Like, I'm like, yeah. Girl, you don't even know. <laughs> and it's crazy because that's the way we have to navigate ourselves. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? To be safe in this society. It's the reality yeah. of it. Yeah. It's the reality of it, you know, and then emotionally as well. Like there's always that emotional um war against us as well, our minds. Like, and especially it's so just even more triggering going online and you're reading all of the people just the counters just talking shit. And it's just like Yeah. It is so triggering. Like you do yeah. realize you're talking Constantly about people's dealing lives, with trauma. Right? Like you're being met with trauma, like in every left, right, and center. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it's a lot. It, it is, really a lot. is a lot. But, but you know what's crazy? They don't even know that what they're doing is just further speeding up the process to fully wake up the divine feminine. Like, yeah, it's fine. It's like okay, cool, because you're gonna pull it out. You pulling yeah. it out. It's already coming yeah. out. But now y'all gonna go ahead and pull the divine feminine all the way out. Right, right. Now we do. We gonna yeah, boss up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's all we the, do. Yeah, that's what it's doing. It's pushing us to the wall. Mm-hmm. We have no choice. Put them right in their place, and I can't wait. I'm telling you, honestly. Got to be in one. our generation. Got to be in our generation. Be in I would love to see it. <laughs> either way, I'm going to see it. Either side, wherever either way, I am, yeah, I'm going to be watching yeah, that. Like, way. yo. But yeah. yeah, no, like, it's just, this. It's, it's a comment. I remember, like, I even saw, there was a guy I met a while back, and he was just randomly talking to me, just random conversation. And I was just like, yeah, I'm a self-love advocate. I'm big on self-love, you know. And then he was like, just kind of. He's so sick and tired of them. He said, um, yeah, I can tell. I mean, but sometimes you don't really have to be like that. Bear in mind, he's only ever had two conversations with me. This was the second conversation. And he was like, you know, because sometimes, you know, and I don't even know where in the conversation I'd even said I don't need anyone because I don't talk like that. But I guess my aura kind of just and the things that I said, the way I respond to certain things, you can tell that I really am self-sufficient. So he was like, I mean, yeah, it's good and all, but I think sometimes you should. I said, I don't think you should think how somebody else chooses to express their self-love. I think you should let people express their self-love however they want Mm. to. And you should try and make sure that you acquire some more of your self-love. So you don't tell other people how to express their self-love. You know what I mean? And then he was (laughs) and he was like, Yeah, no, I mean, like, I was like, Yeah, no, that's it. That's what I mean. So yeah, let me express how I want to, and you express how you want to, right? And we don't infringe on anyone's self-love expression. How about you gotta take it down to like (laughs) preschool for you to (laughs) comprehend, you know? Like, stop it. Mm -hmm. Don't be so straight away, Mm -hmm. your ego feels attacked, like she doesn't need me yeah because that's the problem you guys have to feel needed and valued by women and you make out like it's us that need you to feel valued but it's you guys you need to have us want you and need you to feel like you're lit because as soon as you see one some a woman heaven forbid she says you know i'm not relying on you don't really find you you're not really no i'm good they're like oh my god oh my days Mm -hmm. you mean Mm -hmm. we don't validate you Mm-hmm. I think this is, I've told you before, I think this is why we particular, in particular trigger them because they're like, these women, we are phenomenal, gorgeous, boss-ass women. You can't take that away from us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then on top of that, where it's literally preaching, do your thing. You know, you don't have to take mm. abuse. We, you don't need a man. You won't die without one. And if you have one, make sure you have a fantastic one because you deserve that. So they're mm-hmm. like, because they can't say it. What are you going to say? Mm-mm. Nothing. They're like, you, you must need us. You need us. <laughs> they they take empowering women as immediate, like in straight up disrespect. <laughs> like, how dare you empower women? Like, you well, look at you over there empowering women. <laughs> what do you mean, you. power of women? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what this shit's about. Click. <laughs> <laughs> talking about mythical things that I can't they get my cat oh god but yeah Mm -hmm. honestly ladies we love you so much man and Mm -hmm. we just like I just send in loads of healing energy out to everybody just light man women sisters we need this man let's continue to uplift each other during this time for real because we need it like it is at that it's getting really peak you know 
and get deep into your self-love rituals man mm. do what you need to do for yourself if you have to log off the internet log off sometimes you don't <laughs> if it's too much like I tend to not read comments and stuff or yeah. anything I just don't because I'm just not in that my I don't want to deal so leave me alone yeah, yeah. so take your time yeah. do your journaling yeah. go for walks whatever makes you feel good do it you know spend time on your self-care yeah. ritual right now yeah. Yeah, I love that. I love that. And I would just add to you, um, let's check on each other. Yeah. Let's check on each other right now. Let's check on each other, you know, um, and and like you said, taking time to log off, protecting your mental health is another form of protecting yourself. So as much as we need to learn self-defense and know how to hold a gun, honey, like you need to know how to right. get his ass off. <laughs> but <laughs> aside from that, definitely work on your mental health. Yeah, because we know how to function with high levels of stress and it is not good for us so we do let's take time to to nourish ourselves love on ourselves and let's check on each other ladies absolutely <laughs> yeah definitely perfect um all right well i guess we'll see you yeah, I guess we'll see you guys next time. See oh, next wait, week, our please. usual yeah. podcast. Follow us. Always. Twitter. Follow us. Yeah. <laughs> and the Power Podcast. <laughs> TikTok. Yeah. Um, and, you know, communicate. We love that you guys slide in our DMs and speak to us and give us your opinions and stuff. Honestly, it's great. Yeah. So tell us how you're feeling. You know, let's talk. Bye, guys. Bye. See you.